So just to consolidate what um, we were discussing on the blog at www.chrispowell.com, uh, this is how you would do a swoosh. We have already created the rectangle. The rectangle was created by using the rectangular marquee and then we filled it with colour. You'll notice it is on its own layer. This is really important. So this is the Photoshop swoosh layer. And we are going to use our transform tool. Control T is the shortcut key for that, incidentally. First thing you need to do is to make sure that you have the Photoshop swoosh layer selected as here. We're going to our edit menu. We're going to scroll down to transform and we're going to pop over and select the warp tool. This brings up a grid um, and this grid is where we can drag like so. You can do a control Z to go back if you make a mistake as I just did. But what we want to do is I want to try and use the transform handles to create an arc or a swoosh here. It's really straightforward. Simply click here and drag. You'll notice I'm going to try and drag directly up with my handle. The further up I go, the more acute the angle of the swoosh. The further down, the less. I'm going to say actually I'm quite happy with just about here. The next thing I need to do is this is a transformation. And with a transformation, you either have to accept it by clicking here or reject it by clicking here. Or you can press the Enter key. I'm actually going to just press the Enter key. And that has now given us our swoosh, which we'll pop over to the Move tool and we can now move it, edit it and do anything else that we so wish to do. That is all there is to creating a swoosh.